Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and this is the second part of the video of the ETAPS analysis of a residential building. So previously we discussed about the grid formation of a residential building. What are the points that we have to extract from the architectural drawing. Uh, in the second part I will be discussing about how we will define the materials that will be used in the RCC modeling and defining the section. So without any further ado let us continue our video. Now I will start or I will define the materials that will be used in the uh, analysis. So for this we have to go to define and in the first uh, row we have material properties click on this and we will have uh, by default material types. So we will not uh, make any changes over here. We will di directly go to add new material and in this select your region for now I'll select India and material type concrete because it is an RCC building so concrete uh, standard Indian grade so for residential building uh, M20 is sufficient or you can also use M25 depending upon the structure but now I am using M20 okay now come back sorry a new window will pop off and you will get the material data and the specification so there is no any changes to be made so it is all okay if you have any data that has to be changed or modified then you can do on your basis so for now it is okay for me similarly I will add a new material that is rebar so rebar don't get, don't get confused with the steel okay it is rebar and uh, HYSD 500 high yield strength deformed bar 500 for nowadays uh, both the longitudinal bar and the transverse bar are used with the 500 grade of strength. so now HYSD 500 is all okay no need to make any changes if you have any other material that has to be defined then you can do it so material defining has been done now after defining material we will define the section that is the column size column uh, type similarly beam slab etc and if we have any shear walls then we also define that in this stage so go to define section properties frame sections and by default there will be a number of prop uh, section properties which will leave unchanged but if you want to delete then you can delete it so select all of these and delete selected frame section but there will be two that will be deleted only if we add a new section by ourselves so okay delete okay now for this you can either import new properties or add a new property so i'll go with the add new property function and i have two types of column that is circular column and a rectangular column or you can say square column firstly i will make rectangular column and uh, let us give as column 300 mm by 300 mm material m20 grid and concrete rectangular we can also change by here similarly now section dimension depth depth is 300 mm and this is also 300 mm if it is in inches then you can just write 12 inches and it will give us 304.8 okay so for now I am taking 300 modify or show rebar so if we are now we have to make the uh, material uh, rebar material defined over for this column so modify or show rebar we are designing column that is for axial or the column will be designed as a biaxial column axial force moment along two orthogonal directions so m2 and m3 for beam it will be designed for m3 so now design type column longitudinal bars hysd 500 confinement bars hysd 500 and reinforcement configuration rectangular confinement bars ties obviously there will be only option of ties for the rectangular if it was a circular column then we have spiral case 
for the confinement bars and check or design reinforcement to be designed or reinforcement to be checked so many of us get confused in this firstly we will do reinforcement to be designed okay ETABS will give the reinforcement and according to that we will provide reinforcement and tick this and check whether our building passes with the reinforcement provided by us or not okay or you can also go with reinforcement to be designed primarily with your uh, pre-assumed reinforcement but for now i will go with reinforcement to be designed and many of us don't change this data reinforcement to be designed with the option taking reinforcement to be designed because it doesn't make significant uh, difference in the result but i will show you that uh, later on for now let us put reinforcement to be designed and keep all these unchanged okay now property modifier so this is uh, dependent upon the designer property modifiers or the stiffness modifier in it apps are basically used to check the serviceability of the structure they are used to model the cracks behavior of the concrete section they are only applied when the concrete undergoes crack and basically the crack or the concrete uh, suffers from cracking due to the lack of tensile strength the tensile strength of concrete is roughly about 7 to 10 percent of the compressive strength and when the load acting on the concrete exceeds the tensile strength of the concrete the or there occurs cracking after cracking the concrete is no longer able to carry the tension so the rebar provided starts to take the tension acting on the structure due to the crack in the concrete structure the moment of inertia will be reduced and furthermore it reduces the stiffness of the structure we can also find about the property modifier for moment of inertia in our is code Here you can see for a structural analysis the moment of inertia shall be taken as in RC and masonry structure 70% of I gross of column and 35% of I gross of beams and for steel structure it remains same. But for torsional constant there is no any modification factor in the codes. Uh, there are none you have to decide by yourself as an engineer and uh, depending upon whether your structure will uh, resist the torsion or it will neglect the torsion we have to consider the value for example if you take a torsional constant 0 0.01 it means it will completely neglect the torsion if you know that that structure will uh, or the structure has to be designed for torsion then don't factor it down and also if we keep the same value for the modifiers for everything like column beam walls etc then the reduction will be uniform and there won't be any changes in the result and use of these uh, modifiers coefficient should be limited for the check of serviceability such that the deflection are only affected not the reinforcement so first thing that is the rectangular column has been designed now add copy of property and let us provide circular column of 300 diameter m20 so it will be easier if we select a copy option because there are less things to be changed concrete rectangular concrete circular now it will have uh, we have to enter only diameter 300 modifier so rebar m2 and hysd hysd 500 reinforcement to be designed circular ties are spiral so i'll be taking ties although spirals provide us more uh, strength uh, okay so circular column is also done now let us define beam section so add new property or we can also directly go okay add new property beam 230 mm by 350 mm generally for a residential building 9 inches by 14 inches is the size of beam provided and depth is 350 similarly width is 230 so it is done and if you see for a column section the uh, rebar will be shown here that is the ETABS will show rebar but if we select M3 this is the cover so 
for beam minimum cover is provided as 25 mm and considering the bar size of 12 mm sorry 16 mm let us take this as 33 mm or you may provide 12 also I guess it depend upon the analysis so in this way beam section is also defined okay now we can delete remaining so it is uh, better if you remove it will be much more less confusing while uh, assigning or while drawing the structures so we have column circular column and beam okay one more point so in this area that is this is the slab and we have a staircase so i will provide a secondary beam in this region okay so secondary beams basically connects to or connects with two primary beam i am just trying to make you clear about the use of secondary beam also in the video so add copy of property secondary beam and its size is 230 by 300 okay this is the minimum size of secondary beam used in residential building so depth will be 300 mm frame properties has been defined similarly we have to uh, us uh, define slab section as well so for slab section go to this option and by default we have two values and uh, let us delete okay now i'll modify this slab so this is our slab and we'll use m20 grade of concrete and modeling type we have cell thin cell thick membrane layered so many of us get confused about the modeling type of slab that is whether it is cell thin cell thick membrane or layered and what is the difference between them so basically we'll take cell thin for uh, uh, shear walls and slabs similarly we'll take cell thick for foundation we'll take membrane for uh, waffle slab reef slab and layered will be taken for consideration of the detail analysis where it subdivides the cell so this is how we'll select the modeling type and the basic difference between cell and membrane is that the membrane type slab transfers 100 percent of load to the nearby beam while the cell type deforms or through its flexural deformation it raises some portion of load acting on it so as they have some bending stiffness so this is the difference between cell and membrane if you consider a bed sheet if we uh, try to uh, deform the bed sheet there will be no any resistance that is the concept of membrane that is there is no any stiffness there is no any resistance so 100% of load transfer to beam and uh, for the cell thin and cell thick is that the cell thin does not consider the shear effect while cell thick considers the shear effect as in case of foundation design or footing design we consider one way shear two way shear so that is cell thick and similarly for cell thin there will be no any shear effect consideration so this is the simple concept about molding type okay and uh, type is slab okay we have drop stiff rib waffle so now we'll consider slab and the depth for our slab is 125 mm that is 5 inches that is the minimum thickness of slab nowadays add new property at copy okay let us also add for the staircase slab and for staircase i will consider 150 mm other things will remain same okay so we have defined this slab as well now if we have a shear wall in the building then we can go with the wall section and modify wall as wall one and for now we don't have any shear wall but just let me make you clear about the how we define a wall property specified and wall property m20 but generally it is m25 with the case of shear wall modeling type will be cell thin 230 for a small buildings or commercial buildings 
okay so this is how we define shear wall properties so this is uh, yeah we have defined all of this so this is about defining section properties and material properties uh, and we come to end of this video and in the next part we will define the load cases load patterns and load combination thank you